it going boys? Welcome everybody back to another video. Now if you guys missed my last video on my objectives guide on the new team of season Kimpenpe, you will not know what's happening but currently it is 6am on Saturday morning and I am leaving at 10am to go up to Auckland to watch my football team play. So I'm, I mean I'm not going to be uploading for a couple days now and I want to try get maybe two or three reviews out, maybe one more after this one. I want to try get as much videos out for you guys so when I am away at least you guys you know I've got some reviews and uh, objective guides on the channel. But today boys we do take a look at the new 89 rated team of a season Laborde I believe it's pronounced. Now the problem is I brought them for 41,000 coins and I only have 80, I only had 80,000 coins so we're going to be looking at all the cheap ones. I think Yelmaz is one, Laborde and I'm pretty sure that Brazilian left wing back free that I kind of want to get done. As for Fonte, I don't think we'll really worry about him. But lads, I'm, I'm kind of, if you guys watch my reviews, or I know lots of my most popular reviews anyway, have come from quote-unquote cheap beasts, like my second inform, and I, I think it was like an 81 rated inform Bamba. They both got like five to 10,000 views. Um, so I feel like lots of you guys in particular are looking for cheap beasts. So instead of being like, you know, the biggest, the bigger YouTubers, like let's say in Inception, like doing reviews on the massive ones like a Benita and Mbappe, I wish I could do that. I don't have enough coins, but instead we're going to try our best to cover some of the smaller ones. But anyway, boys, coming in at five foot eleven, high medium work rate. He's left footed, and genuinely, if you look at his face stats, like ninety pace, ninety one shooting, he looks incredible. And I was genuinely like, why is he so cheap? I clicked onto him, and I saw he is three star, three star. Went to attributes and saw he had that seventy five balance. And now the two reasons, or three reasons, if you will, that he is so cheap, and it's a little bit underwhelming. Um, they're not really giving upgrade boosts like that. Yilmaz a Turkish dude. Like, Lille have had the best season ever. Like, well, not probably ever in their history, but they have had an incredible season. They were massive underdogs against PSG, and he's been one of the most on-form league un strikers, and they haven't upgraded him. They've kept him freestar, freestar. Laborde, I'm not sure how the season was. Obviously, it's good enough to get into tots, but I'm really disappointed he is still freestar, freestar. But we have gone ahead and gone for an, an for an engine for obvious reasons. He goes to 95 pace. His shooting is already fantastic. His, he gets a really nice passing boost as well. Going to 85 long passing, 95 curve, and 98 short passing, but also, most importantly, the plus 10 balance and the plus 5 agility, plus 9 dribbling beer as well. He's already got 93 stamina and 92 strength, which is lovely, and he does sadly not have any traits. Now, I'm actually going to go show you guys my custom tactics. We decided to play him in a 4 triple 2 as a right cam. We've got King, Kenny, Pale, and Otavio, who we actually tried out at left cam, and we do have him on get into the box and drift wide. Now, I'm actually going to try to find this card on foot, and he's one of the least popular ones, which I mean, I can see why, but let's have a look. So, uh, his body type, he's an average body type in 5'11". So honestly, boys, I can already tell you because I've already played the game. So like it's one of those videos where it's pre-recorded. The average body type um, and being 5'11 with 75 balance, he wasn't the smoothest. I was expecting him to, you know, you see the 86 with a 91 dribbling, I think it is. And you expect him to feel great on the ball. But no, sadly, obviously his in-game, his balance, his body type's not great. But anyway, boys, enough rambling. Sub if you do enjoy or get anything from this review. It does mean a lot. And let's get in to the clips. Boys, getting into the first game, the team we are facing, it's actually a sweaty team, it was like 6am in the morning, obviously foot champ, 6am, no sleep, because I am leaving soon, so I was like, no point trying to sleep, and I mean, uh, it's, it's a very sweaty team, I'm not going to spoil the result, but my opponent did win, I just spoiled the result, but I'm not going to spoil the scoreline, it was a very tight match to be fair, but as you can see in these first uh, matches, or these first clips, sorry, Laborde, we do really test out that dribbling. Because genuinely, I was actually really, really surprised of his dribbling. Although he's got 75 balance, that engine plus 10 boost is necessary. His average body type, he didn't feel great on the ball. He didn't feel like a Neymar or an Mbappe, Lionel Messi type of silky on the ball. But he did not feel bad by any means. He feels, it's really weird because he's not the tallest. And as you can see, a really good pass there as well. He's a very interesting card. Like, he's very, very fast. He is absolutely rapid, especially with an engine going to 95 pace, as you can see in those clips there. His ball control, particularly, I could probably I can tell you now his ball control was his key stat his ball control pace and passing is a type of card you're getting obviously he's got some ridiculously good shooting but at the same time he's got a free star free star and that really really limits you as a card um, obviously when your opponents do face him they'll know that he's free star free star and they will know that he is an, in fact a limited card and it'll be very easy to defend against but as you can see here Laborde gives that through to Zambrotta Zambrotta cuts that back to Pale and Pale bags that home so that's a semi assist not a goal or an assist but he does help 
help contribute with that goal obviously he basically created that chance for Zambrotta to get that assist so boys as you can see on the screen for performance rating we have gone ahead and we have given him a 6 out of 10 his performance wasn't great nor was it bad he was he did his job very nicely as a right cam and although we did lose it is very hard to you know pick pick parts of like you know how good was his card but genuinely 6 out of 10 I feel is very fair for how he is going to be in game because he's just not a crazy card at all but he's not a bad card if you gave us this card obviously before team of the season the team of the season card before tots it sounds weird but an 89 rated say 90 pace 91 shooting solid passing solid dribbling a free star free star card you'd be able to easily get around that free star free star but now that we are in team of the season obviously everyone has got like Kyle Walker showdown now red one but well, not red one sucker like myself but Kyle Walker showdown um but I've got so much fullbacks at center back that'll be very very so much harder at this point obviously later on to the game cycle this card will be very very I say outdated not outdated but he's just definitely a lower tier team of the season and you can tell that off the bat when you do use him for a value though we have gone ahead and given him a seven and a half um obviously you guys will know with performance rating the reason we've done this is because performance rating on how he performs in game they could play shit but they could be worth like pistol and it's actually a really good price this card he actually played okay and he's actually a really reasonable price he's currently 38,250 coins so he's dropped a few k since we brought him but for 38,000 coins you've got a really 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 solid league one or french league right wood right wing right mid right cam central cam if you want to definitely wouldn't try him striker with a free star free star but he's a very rotational player obviously on the wing out wide in the central in the midfield somewhere which is a bonus of him so I definitely feel like although he is not the greatest card he's got a really really good value about him for the pros it's going to be his pace it's going to be his shooting it's going to be his passing and physical his physical especially like his stamina was solid his strength was actually really good for a, for a card that you know usually you'd look at this card 511 average body type dribbling very solid you'd expect him not to be that strong but nah he's actually relatively strong but for the cons it is 3 star 3 star 75 balance and the average body type is a little bit harsh so I'm going to do boys I'm going to hold up uh, oh, sorry load up foot but now I'm going to take another deeper look into to his card and give you guys the chem cell. So like I said, I've gone with an engine because I feel like that's the most necessary on first glance. He goes to 85 balance, 89 agility, gets a very nice pace boost and puts him up to 92 passing in game. This puts him to a 93 rated cam, a 93 rated center forward, a 93 rated right wing, a 93 rated left wing, and a 94 rated striker. You go for a finisher, which puts him to a 95 rated striker. So as I said, um, on paper this card could play anywhere in attack, but personally, I just would not play him as a striker with a free star, free star, especially at this point. A sniper puts him to a 90 rated cam, a 90 rated right forward, a 90 rated left wing. Uh, artist, you know, an artist puts him to a 93 rated cam. So genuinely, with the right chem style, you've got a really, really, really nice card on your hands. And like I said, I definitely think an engine is the best because an engine fix, v fixes the most necessary stats with the balance. With the, I think, to be honest, for a cam, I think he does need a little bit of a passing boost as well his passing was sensational um with the engine obviously 86 passing but he goes to 91 passing and like 98 short passing with an engine so i definitely feel like lads chuck an engine on this card whether you play him right cam wherever he's a very solid card and obviously as you can see on the screen for a while now he has got a tick it was a tight one obviously honestly lads you, you know i keep my reviews honest he's not a great card all right if, if you have say 200,000 coins if you've got a high tier budget or a high budget i should say do not buy this card i would not recommend this card he's not great but if you've got a very low budget he's a very good very 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 good price for a low budget team so lads hopefully this review did help you out it's going to get a slight tick from me based on value not a terrible card not a great card literally a bang on average card hope you guys did enjoy if you did get anything from this review make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more player reviews objective guides and pack openings it's been your boy davis and until next time see you guys all later